All right. Honestly, in reference to our reality or my reality, better said, we're not kids anymore, man. We have to take advantage and also account for our own like doings as well as our own actions, our own faults, our own mistakes. Because until we do, we're just like Adam and Eve blaming the snake. And I'm sorry to put it like that in such a clear reference, but that's the beginning. That's how you start. That's how you also end immediately by destroying your honor and integrity, by lying or putting aside something that you know is yours or you yourself are doing. If the world, in my opinion, thought differently in regards to how they handled their mistakes, because a mistake is usually made. It's part of learning. It's a learning process. Now, we're not supposed to kill each other to learn. But technically, God has allowed us to kill everyone, pretty much. Wipe out complete races just for that. Just to be right. Who is correct in regards to this? The utter destruction and annihilation and pretty much a genocide of a humanity or a race or a civilization, a type of culture. Yet we're all still in the same God-blessed place that we were placed on originally. I believe, actually I know, that it's pretty easy to change for myself whatsoever, you know, just me, hey, I'll change for me, you know, because it's, it's one responsibility that I would have my whole life, which is make sure that I am in a coherent state to handle and go, go towards any type of solution or situation that may be happening. Multitasking doesn't necessarily get you better because a lot of people here think that they need to do a lot of things to have some value in this world. It's not like that. It, it really isn't. You could do one thing for the rest of your life and that'll give you value. You could do two things for the rest of your life and that'll give you value. You could do a billion things for the rest of your life and that'll give you value. It'll probably give you a lot more stress than value, honestly, because you're doing a billion things. It's kind of crazy. But if you organize yourself, you don't try to do things faster when you know you should just do it carefully to make sure that the outcome is correct, then we'll probably have a better result. We have all of these psychologists, sociologists, physiologists, philosophers, physicians, all these people who know about what's in here, your brain or your emotions or how you even react to certain triggers. Yet, although we have those people, we have not joined them together at all. They're individual. They're by themselves trying to figure shit out on their own. We have not joined them together for a planetary discussion towards a solution in regards to our culture and our lifestyles based on our personal preferences. You may think that it's not possible to satisfy everyone because where I satisfy myself, the other could be completely and utterly traumatized. You know? That's obvious. But what takes into place after that, what you need, is 
empathy. You need to be also considerate, specifically and in regards to all that comes after. There's a long time to do a lot of things. We're not in a rush. We're not in a hurry. There's nothing following us. There's nothing that's attacking us. There's nothing that is hurting us, damaging us. But honestly, if you decide to go against your own morals, well, then don't be surprised when something comes up. As it has, and as it always will. For example, damaging another country is gonna get retaliation. What? Why are we even at war? Is it for supplies? Is it because we don't believe in what they believe? Well, we all have one eternal watcher, supposedly. We all have one main responsibility and that is to take care of yourself not by hurting others but by taking giving yourself care you know like you care about yourself care about yourself you care about other people care about other people although you have to care about yourself to begin caring about anybody else because take into account if you're super duper unselfish and all you do is care about everyone else. And then one day, let's say you're fed up because you care about so many other people, but nobody does anything for you. You're gonna get, you're gonna blow up. And that's not the goal here. You're not trying to do that. Oh, that was crazy. She can't walk. But we have our opinions. Yeah, I can have, a, I can have an opinion about something. Everybody has opinions about everything. But the opinion doesn't do anything. I just had an opinion. Nobody's nobody's dying because I had an opinion. But people get mad about opinions because it doesn't relate to theirs. And they think they know something. And then when they are opposed or there's some controversy, they blow up. Because, I mean, wow, you're changing my whole structure. And now I have to change? Nobody pretty much likes change. But it's something unavoidable. Change. Change. Give me change. There's always going to be room for change. And there's always going to be time. I say these things just because, you know, I, I really am bored and tired of the way that life is becoming or has been. I'm not saying that it, it, I, I can't have fun. I, I'm not saying that I can't have fun. I can have my own fun. I can enjoy myself, I can go out, I can do these things, la 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 la. But at the end of the day, what am I gonna do that shit for? If at the end of the day, there's nothing, nothing's gonna be better, you know? It's just that, I had that experience. Woohoo, wow, cheech out. And now we're here. And the day ends that way. Because when you get home, and you're in bed, or you're looking at stuff in your head, and you're by yourself, you say, this is my own personal thing as well. What the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs>